plant that we never care about really. It, it's uh, we we no one checks on her. Nobody checks on the cool ant. Hey, are you okay? No one says that. No one says that to the cool ant. The cool ant is just kind of there to to be cool. You can sneak a cigarette with your cool ant. You could tell your cool ant you suck someone off at the park. You're cool. <laughs> you can. I suck someone off at the park. Yeah. If I had a dollar for everyone I sucked off in the park. <laughs> when the rain washes you clean, you'll know. Every cool ant listens to Dreams by Fleetwood Mac while fisting herself. Every cool ant is in her bed with a vibrator listening to Dreams by Fleetwood Mac. The room smells like weed. Every cool ant. When the rain washes you clean, you'll know. Thunder only happens when it's raining. Every cool ant shows up to the wedding a little late. Because she, she put on a nice buzz the night before. She put on a nice buzz the night before. Every cool ant has a story of like her best friend killing themselves or something. They always have like a locket or something. And she's like, that's my friend Sarah. She was my best friend. She was going to be a ballerina. She killed herself. She's dead now. Put on Fleetwood Mac. <laughs> We saw Fleetwood Mac together, and then Sarah drove home, and she was hit by a drunk. That's why I drive drunk, to dull the pain. Every cool aunt's best friend was murdered in front of her. She always has some quasi-lesbo relationship with a woman who was beheaded in front of her. <laughs> that was, I had an Aunt Jen. She's had pills. She, like, asks for money for drugs. She was the cool aunt. She, like, now, like, they've taken her children. You know what I mean? Like the go the government comes into her house with battering rams now. She was a cool aunt. She was cool. You could tell her anything. We can tell her anything. Now she's like, like all of her kids are trans. She made them all trans. She like told them they were trans. She's like, you're all trans. And mommy loves her trans babies. When the rain washes you clean. <laughs> Thunder only happens when it's raining. My kids are all trans, there's no explaining. <laughs> the teachers called CPS on me. They call. <laughs> this is the natural end of the cool ant. The natural end of the cool ant. I didn't end a fake their own death. I mean, I'm not even going to go through this. I'm just saying it's funny. What does this article say? Ants play a surprisingly critical role in supporting LGBTQ youth. By the way, aren't most, and I don't want to sound indelicate or offensive to people. They, I know people have real problems out there. But at this point, aren't a lot of LGBTQ, outside of very religious families or stuff or people, you know, people that don't like you. But, it, you know, like, it's not just your cool aunt anymore. I mean, there, there is more acceptance than just a cool aunt. The researchers interviewed 83 uh, LGBTQ youth in South Texas and the Inland Empire of California who reported ambivalence or low support from their parents regarding their identity. Of those mentioned, 38 mentioned their aunts when asked to identify their most supportive non-parental. Yeah, because your aunt doesn't care what you do, nor should they. Here's the deal. If you come out as gay and your parents hate you, they're, they're pieces of shit. If you come out as trans and your parents hate you, like really trans... Uh, then their pieces of shit, um, or maybe they just they need some time. But if you're going to be one of these people who's you know constantly confusing everyone with 18 identities every other minute, you can't expect everybody to validate and affirm you all the time. It, you know, and I think maybe this is what they're they're running into here. You know, I don't know. I'm sure there are people that come out and go, "I'm gay," and their parents don't like them, and their aunts like. You know, one of my friends is gay. His name is Jimmy. They're always kind of drunk, your aunt. They always kind of have like a, a neurological disorder a little bit. The way 
when it comes out when they drink, they kind of like start to have like MS a little when they drink. And all the cool ants are like, they always have like a, um, they're always like wise. They, they think they're like wise beyond their years. You know what I mean? They have like an old car, but it's cool. It smells like cigs. My friend Jimmy was gay. He's dead. He died on the beach. No one knows how. <laughs> you want to go to a movie with me? Your mother was always different than I was. Real prom queen type. I like my job at the local paper. I write the obituaries. My friend Jimmy was gay. He was in a relationship with his own father. I mean, you could just tell how much it meant for them to have this adult family member, this aunt who saw them for who they were, loved them for who they are, and will do anything for them. I think we often miss this because so much research focuses on the parent-child dynamic or parents rejecting their child. We're missing that there are actually adult family members such as aunts who are deeply supporting and loving. By the way, totally agree that there's, I, I think we got to get moved beyond the parent, moved beyond the aunt. How about the boss? How about the boss? 